This video is sponsored by Square Enix. Welcome to Marvel Avengers, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you my Miss Marvel build and go over all the gears, skills, and abilities. Okay, so starting with the gear, and the first one is the bracelet, and this is called the Marvelous, which you can get by completing vault missions. The first perk is 44% chance that a heavy combo finisher grants a short defensive buff. This buff is 12 seconds. Uh, the second one is an elemental damage, which typically will change out. But the third one is the one that I like the most, and this is a random perk, so you might have to farm this a couple of times before you get it. Uh, it's a 122.5% increased critical attack damage from the polymorph attacks. Let me show you a quick example of the buff. Okay, so next is the arm and there's three different type of legendary sets that you can get you get one from a hive mission you get one from the vault and then you get another one from defeating bosses like taskmaster and abomination i didn't like those at all because they increased my range rating and i don't use her range attack that much i use the polymorph mostly and i use the ultimate ability and i use her healing ability so i want to increase my melee rating my heroic rating and i like to have my defensive rating around a thousand so you want to find a piece of gear that fits your playstyle the best, or you can make those adjustments with the artifacts. This was a nice perk though at the very bottom, is a 12.5% increased damage from heavy combo finishers. So I thought this was a nice one to have on there. Okay, so moving on to the chest piece, and this piece of gear you can get by completing hive missions. The first perk is an increased willpower recovery by 200% while polymorph is active. And the second one is a 10% increased polymorph energy. So let me show you a quick example of this willpower. You're going down. Be aware. Okay, so moving on to the emblem slash crest. Now this piece of gear you can get from completing hive missions. The first perk is increase the regeneration of polymorph energy by 15%. And then the second one is increase the heroic energy charge rate with polymorph active by 15%. So not only are we going to get our health back quickly when it's active, we're also going to get our heroic energy back when it's active. Now you want to use polymorph as much as you can possible simply because you're going to be doing more damage. Okay, so moving on to the artifacts. Now this is where you adjust everything towards your personal playstyle. For me, I like my melee rating to be high, my heroic hit rating to be high. The range, I don't really care too much with her, so I have it very low. And my defensive rating, I like to have it around 1,000. Since she has abilities to heal herself, I really don't think my defense needs to be that high. We also have when we activate Polymorph, we're going to get our willpower back. So she has ways to recover her health, so I don't think your defense needs to be that high. So I went with more melee rating and heroic rating. But just keep in mind, this is where you're going to adjust it to your personal playstyle. So if you want more defense, now is the time to adjust it here. Okay, so moving on to the support heroic ability and for the healing spirit. So on the left side, I went with the first one, which grants me an extra charge. So now I'll have two. And then on the right side, I went with the another charge. So now I'll have three. But if you don't feel like you need three charges, you can actually go to the bottom one down here. And this will increase the duration of the healing spirit by eight seconds. So now after you use it, it'll last for 18 seconds. So either having a third charge or having it, you know, the duration extended, either one of those two is good to have. Okay, so moving on to the Assault Heroic ability. And for the high five on the left side, I went with the bottom one, which is too slow. Now this one has less damage, but it's more of an area effect. So we're gonna hit more enemies with this one. So with the right side, I like to always get my Heroic Orbs back. So I went with the middle one and for too slow, you have a 25% chance of getting a heroic orb back. So I'm going to show you an example of this. Okay, so moving on to the ultimate heroic ability. And right below it, you want to unlock Living Large, which is going to increase the duration for five seconds. Then when we go to the left side, we're going to unlock Big Trouble, which is going to increase it for another five seconds. So this will have your heroic ability last for 30 seconds. 
Then when we go over to the right side, we're going to unlock the middle one, and Critical Attack does 35% more damage. Okay, so moving on to the next section where your melee is. So for the left side, I went with the first one and boost critical attack damage by 15% while air juggling opponents. Now the one in the middle, I went with the top one, which is increase the damage of all combo finishers by 25%. That's a nice little boost. And the one on the right side, I went with the middle one, performing a takedown spawns a heroic orb. I always pick this one for every one of my characters. Okay, so moving on to the range. And on the left side, I went with the middle one, the Whip Fist creates a Concussion Blast on impact location. And the middle one, I went with the middle, prevent being interrupted by enemies' attacks while holding onto an enemy. And the right side, I went with the middle one, 25% uh, chance to generate a Heroic Orb at their slamming or throwing a grabbed enemy. Okay, so for the last six, this is going to help boost your Polymorph. So on the left side, I went with the first one, reduce the energy activation cost by 40% when triggering the polymorph ability. The one in the middle, I did increase the damage of all melee attacks by 12.5% while using the polymorph. And then on the right, I did the increased chance to land a critical hit while polymorph is active by 15%. Remember our piece of gear raised the critical hit damage, so we definitely want our critical hit chance to be higher. Moving on to the last three, and on the left side I went with the bottom one, increase the critical attack chance for polymorph attacks by 15% and applies to these four abilities listed. The one in the middle, I went with the middle one, pairing the attack with the hip check restores 20 points of energy. And the last one on the right, I went with increase the size of the parry window of the hip check ability by 20%. Let me show you a quick example of that hip check and how much energy you get back. All right, there you have it. That is my Miss Marvel build. I really like her polymorph because you can do a lot of damage with it. If there's anything else you would like to add or any other gear that you found is better, then please leave it in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time.